My name is Brett Vocal. I'm with Ride Tech, and this is my 33 Ford, and we're here to do the good guys autocross. Well, I've been uh, interested in hot rods forever, like most of us, and I uh, started racing autocross and road course stuff about 10 years ago. Uh, we used to concentrate solely on air suspension stuff, and to demonstrate the handling and performance characteristics of the air suspension, uh, we, we come out and started doing some of these competitive events. And uh, that kind of transformed into the Good Guys Autocross series, and here we are today. Uh, the, the autocross follows the form of the whole show. It's all about the participant having fun. You know, I've seen guys around here with a station wagon with, with seven people in it and a bag of groceries. Last year in, in 012, when we won the, the Good Guys Pro Class Championship with this car uh, here at this event, um, I mean, that was a really cool deal. I really enjoyed doing that. I mean, we built the car to do this kind of stuff, among other things, but primarily this. So the car has been out here on the West Coast. I haven't touched it all winter. I got the same setup in this car as what I did here in Del Mar in the fall, okay? I won that event. I was faster by two seconds a lap. This year, I came in sixth. Well, I, I think the big change between 10 years ago and today is there's a lot more quantity of faster people. These cars are getting really fast. I mean, I took this car about a month ago and did a deal with Hot Rod Magazine. We, uh, we raced against a Lamborghini Gallardo at Las Vegas, and we beat him by a second a lap. I mean, that's, that's a world-class car. 10 years ago, I didn't have a car that would come within 10 seconds a lap. Well, I get asked the question a lot, how can I make my car faster? Because they want to come out here and do what we're doing with this. How, how can I get my car to do that? It's much more about the driver. Get in and learn how to drive the car. And the only way to do that is seat time. Make lap after lap after lap. Ride Tech is continually developing uh, new suspension components, refining suspension components that we've already developed. It's, it's an evolutionary thing. You know, when, when we go out and do testing, we find little things that may or may not be relevant to the rest of our customers, but sooner or later it all becomes relevant and it, all, it, it makes the product better. It makes us better as designers and manufacturers. It makes the product better, which makes the customer happier, and, and it just grows from there.